Now, viewers, how are you doing today? We are back today to give you, from what you've seen, we're going to show you, but before we go straight to that, quickly, our first timers would like to remind you, always watch this video to the end as you subscribe. Please do subscribe, watch the video to the end and hit your bell. And then, then for our esteemed subscribers, we say thumbs up, keep watching. Now, from what you have seen, this is a street rumbling. You know, you are just there and some guys just appeared and then start pushing you around. And how do you deal with that? How can you deal with that? We are going to see that. Now let's watch out and see again. Okay, there. Ah. All right. Okay, you can see how rough they are. Very rumbled. So, let's see how you are going to deal with such action. It's very simple. Okay. Now let's go. We have several ways. Okay. Hold on. We have several ways, but we are going to take it systematically as you watch. Okay. Why? Right. Okay, come up. All right, you can see that swift action. We are going to take clear explanation step by step. Now, how is that possible? Okay, he takes his push one, and as a step, you see that then the next thing is boom, and I follow up with. All right, okay. Let's explain clearly. Watch this. I will allow he pushes. He pushes, push. Okay, now look at what happens. When it's got, can you see that? That's one thing. Wave out, and the waving out, I lock this. And while locking this, I take the sweep. Watch here. Pam, there. Pam. He goes down. Pam, then, boom! You can see that. Before, as he's going down, rush and crush here down. Simple. See that? Okay. All right, we're going to take another form. It's not just that way. We're going to take that one form. We're going to do the rumbling again, and you see another form of counter. Now, take the rumbling again. Now what happens? Watch this again. It takes a boom. I see that. Then from here, the next thing is come here. And then bam. Alright. We are going to take several forms. Let's explain this before we go ahead again. Now the kick here is within the solar plexus here. Come bam. so that we will sink him in. And of course, like I said, you must know your technique. If you are taking that kick, when you are dealing with more than one person, you have to be very decisive. There's no, no uh, chance play, uh, no this kind of, uh, how do we call it, weak technique. You display your technique hard enough. So, boom, I understood what I did to him, that he can't get back on his feet before I finish up with another slap kick here, boom, to the almost within the neck region around here so that he will take him down why i take that there is to take him down for the finishing all right okay so that was i now that kick will stop this man from coming if I, by the time i'm done with this if he happens to recover i can see follow up but definitely with the kick that i gave him he will not recover until i'm done because you don't need to waste so much time on anyone one technique is one technique okay Let's take another form. Alright? Take your pushing. One. And it pushes. One. And this up. And that. Pop. Then two. Two. Down. Okay. Um, it is very, very rough and technical. So you have to be very, very decisive. In this action, you have to be very decisive. Must understand yourself. Remember when I when I spoke about confronting, being confronted with more than one attacker. You have to be very decisive because it's not one man that you spend so much time with. 
You don't spend so much time with one man. Before you, you are done with this man. This one is already on you. So you don't spend so much time. All you need to do is one is one. Pam, pam. If you are taking one, pam, one is one. Pam, pam. One is one. And you understand that when you take such techniques, there's no time for that person to recover before you are done with the other person. So it's just one is one. Now, X, let me go further to make it more clearer. He takes the push ah, slowly. He push. Then when I step back, I is expecting me to just come back the same way, but I come boom this way. I see that? That's knee strike with a rush. Boom. Then, and it's off. I finish him. Now by the time this one is coming, boom! I take another heezer strike flying in with boom this and pa! It goes down. Pa! That's it. Okay, if I had wasted time on this one here, let's assume I waste time. Now watch this. He pushed. Pa! And I'm trying to do this. I see that? Before I am done with this man, he's already on me. And remember one rule. You should not be clustered. Don't allow yourself to be surrounded. Once you're surrounded, you are closing. Okay, for instance, come in here. Yeah. Okay, now you want to attack me, and I'm here. It takes very stiff technicality for me to be able to get myself free from it because they are too close. They have closed me, closed back me, and closed me in, and it's in almost impossible for me to free myself. So what do I do in this situation? I won't allow this to happen. I'll be out. Before they come, I should be out. Before they come, I should be out. Now, if, like they're following me up, bomba to bomba. Now what do I do? Step, I have to go to one side. That's it. And the moment I step to one side, that's when boom, 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 I have to take that action. The moment I step to one side, boom, 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 action, pa. See that? The moment I take this, pop, 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 fly in there. And that is that. Okay. Ah, this is much or little you need to know about handling situations like this when you're dealing with more than one man. One basic truth and most critical is do not spend so much time with one person. Build up your technique to be able to attack one person one for one. All right, before we leave you here today, we're going to remind our first timers as you watch, make sure you watch to the end. Watch the video to the end so that you understand clearly what it involves. And also, do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and then leave your comments. Then, for our same subscribers, oh, you see, thumbs up. So, we'll come your way next time.